Hey, good morning everyone. Welcome back to the outpost. Glad that you had time to stop by and visit with us. So, uh, the new weed eater handle is working really well as you can see down there. It's a little bit heavier than the other one, but that just provides a little bit more weight in swinging. So that makes it really nice. And I think the crook on that makes it a little bit more ergonomic. Uh, so yeah, I'm really liking that and it's working really well. Um, what I've got planned to do today is the other day, uh, we managed to get the roof on the outdoor kitchen, the metal, but I only put two screws in the top corner and the bottom corner. So it's being held up there, but I need to go ahead and get it all screwed down. I need to make something that goes up and kind of hooks over the top so that I can tie it off at the bottom and use have some steps where I can kind of walk up and down and screw that in so that it's not uh, so slick. I mean, my I can actually walk on it because the pitch is not that great, but just to be a little bit more on the safe side, I figured that I'm going to make something up that I can put up there to uh, walk on as I go along. Anyway. Look at this little bitty baby. He's so pretty. We're going to pick him. Well, as you can see, Jennifer got here before I actually started looking for the lumber that I had talked about. So I went ahead and stopped. She came up. She eyeballed the garden and said she needed to pick it. So you've seen her do that. And she brought, like I said, a biscuit. So we've got this tomato. And Homegrown. That makes a sausage biscuit that much better. Which one do you want to cut? Cut mine. Cut I tell you what, a lot of people don't know the goodness of a, a sausage biscuit, or any biscuit for that matter, um, that has a tomato on it. I know that when I visited like places in Texas and stuff, I'll say, hey, can I have a, you know, add tomato to my biscuit? And they'll just be perplexed, wondering why I would want a tomato on my biscuit. I guess that may be like the whole sweet tea deal too, I don't know. Um, but... You can't beat. I guess that's a southern thing. I know, that's what I was thinking. It's a southern thing, um, but you can't beat any type of biscuit with a tomato. So, that's okay. what we're having this morning. There's you one, there's him one. There we go. A big old thick beefy slice of tomato to go on the sausage biscuit. You know, when I was a kid, early teenager, I say, um, one of my first jobs was picking tomatoes one summer after I got out of school. And um, what I used to do is carry um, several slices of bread with me in a baggie. And I just pick a tomato, slice it up. I carried some mayonnaise, put that on there, and I had tomato sandwiches for lunch when we t had time to break. They gave us 30 minutes to eat lunch, but um, yeah, nothing better than a tomato and mayonnaise on some bread. Mm -hmm. Miracle Whip. So we've got another visitor today. This is Matthew Woody. This is one of Jennifer's longtime friends back from high school. Um, he lives here in East Tennessee also, grew up in this area, 
And what what do you do mainly? Uh, I'm a, I work for the fire department and I'm a mortician. Mortician, okay. Um, anyway, Jennifer wanted to share another joke with you all. You know, she's become the outpost stand-up comedian. Outpost corny stand-up comedian. Why did the school kids eat their homework? Eat their homework? Mm -hmm. Because their teacher told them it was a piece of cake. That's so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> what types of sandals do frogs wear? What types of sandals do frogs yep. wear? I don't know. Tell us. Open toed. <laughs> Open toed. <laughs> if April showers bring Mayflowers, what do Mayflowers bring? Pilgrims. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. What nails do carpenters hate to hit? They're fingernails. That's a big owie. Why are hairdressers never late for work? They don't go to work. No. <laughs> because they all know the shortcuts. <laughs> okay. I've got a few, or I've got a couple of two befores laid out over there. What I'm going to do is cut them off at nine feet. Uh, because that is the length from the peak to the edge and then I'm going to screw the other section which is probably I don't know three or four feet on this side where I can actually tie a rope to it and tie it off on this side that'll kind of help hold it up there also and then I'll nail me a few steps or screw me a few steps on it and then I can set it up there and actually walk down those steps which is going to make it a little bit easier for me to screw that and I can just move it as I go along so I'll meet you over here where the two befores are, and I'll see if I can't get them sawed off and get that little bit ladder made. I'd help, but I can't saw. Maybe I could. Those are too short for me to put an angle on, so I'm going to have to get one more two before, at least maybe four to six feet long. But what I plan on doing is I'll stand these up like so, then I'll take the other one and I'll screw it in like this, and then I'll put um, something across from one side to the other. That'll give me something that I can tie on to off of this side and between this angle and that being tied off that should should support me very well then i'll just run me some steps down here that way i can step down the screw it and i'll just move it as i go along
charge. Take the word hurt. Jennifer? Yep. Go in that little shed and see if there's a short piece of this ridge cat laying in there somewhere.
Okay. Okay, guys. Um, Matthew's got to leave, but he wanted to say goodbye, so I got Kyler here, my nephew, to help uh, take his place. I guess you could say that. Anyway, what we had done is we went out and grabbed a log, threw it up on the sawmill, and I've come out with a square cant now. I told you that I was going to start sawing uh, lumber again for the cabin. So we come out with one that's 11 inches by 10, so I'll get 11 good boards out of this. And the ones that I saw that still got some live edge, I may even be able to get maybe three or four more out of those by the time I cut the live edge off. So this tree here may end up yielding about 14 or 15. So that's good. Um, but anyway, Matthew said that he's got to go feed the cows. He's got, uh, how many head you got? I 225. 225. So I was telling him that I would like to bring the cameras over there and film, you know, feeding some cattle. I know that some people who watch this channel may have never seen that done before. I've lived around a feed yard being in Texas and stuff, so I'm familiar with it. But I thought it would be, kind of be interesting, you know, so um, if he's be kind enough to let me come over sure. and video that. And um, also, we were talking about one of the local guys here. Um, his name is Ray Ball. And we like Matthew knows him really well, and I'd like to get him over here because he's just a, a good country fella. Uh, been around a long time, has a construction company, and got a lot of good stories that he would share. So I wanted to get him over here um, and uh, cook up a nice meal in the outdoor kitchen, and hopefully uh, we can get him over here and visit. I'm actually very thankful that he showed up today because he was a great help on get, helping me get that metal on that roof up there on that outdoor kitchen because there was a couple of times that he lifted me up in the bucket of the tractor. He's got one almost like mine um, and to get that stuff set to go. And then um, every time I would take that homemade ladder that I had that I was using to stand on, move it, he would move the um, strap and tie it off again actually ended up having to put the tractor over on the one side to use it to tie off to because there wasn't any trees on that one side but thanks a, a bunch for coming up and helping me do that so you all um, maybe be lucky enough to see him up here again not working but maybe hanging out with us up there eating some good food and having some laughs and things like that so and Kyler if I can talk him into uh, getting off the, the video games long enough to come over here and uh, get on some of these. You know, you could pretend like this was a video game, you know, and uh, we were, you, you push the button and the sawmill runs back and forth. <laughs> no, I'm just, yeah, I think it's getting kind of late, so once I get this done, I'll probably knock off, but anyway, thanks again for coming up here and helping me. You're mighty welcome. Glad I could. Glad Jennifer has good friends. <laughs>
Okay guys, what we managed to do is we got 11 of these, like I said, sawed up. These are good 1x10s. And these over here, by the time I saw the live edge off, uh, I may get two or three more out of that. So that tree, it yielded quite a bit. So this is, again, like I say, the siding for the cabin. I've got about one third. I think I've got 60 over there cut. Um, I'm not really sure. I'd have to go back and count. But I've got roughly one third of what I need for the cabin. So um, I'm going to cut up all the pine logs that I've got that's been laying over there for a good while. And I've got a couple on the back side over there. And I'm going to kind of see where I'm at. As far as logs, I may have to take one more tree. Hopefully I don't. But then the rest of the logs that I've got, um, whether they're crooked or not, I don't care about that. Because it takes a good sized tree to get a 1 by 10 out of. So that siding had to be good. But the one or the two by fours can actually be cut of trees that are crooked and all the waste, you know, I can just give it away or burn it or whatever, but um, or keep, save it for firewood. Um, but I can mill a lot of two by fours out of those. So, anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and knock off here. It's getting late, but we appreciate you guys stopping by, hanging out with us while we do um, some of the work here at the outpost. Um, the, we've got the metal now on the outdoor kitchen up there. I'm so thankful that we were able to accomplish that today. And I do still have a handrail to work on. I still have the earthen oven to do, which I probably won't work on the earthen oven for a while because now I've got the fire pit and the rocket stove going. Uh, the handrail would probably be something next. That and a set of cabinets where I have a countertop to work on. Um, but I am going to jump back and be working on the cabin at the same time too. I may save some of that up there for a rainy day. Anyway, like I said, appreciate you guys stopping by. We love you. Take care. Have a great evening. And we look forward to seeing you back up here at the Outpost next time.